So Aaron Rodgers goes on the Pat McAfee show and he talks about um, making his decision. So pretty much what Aaron Rodgers is going to do, he's going to go on a four-day retreat uh, in darkness, as they say. Um, and he's going to essentially just kind of think about his decision. So in this four-day retreat, they call it the darkness retreat, what he's going to do is at the, at the Super Bowl Sunday, he's going to pretty much be in a, a period of isolation. Um, he said that it's going to be essentially like a cabin he's going to be in. And this is what he said on the Pat McAfee show, a cabin that he's going to be in. Um, and essentially, he's just going to be there for four days, right? They'll have, be outdoors, et cetera, but he'll pretty much have this cabin space he'll be in. And somebody can, like, drop down food. And he said it's, he said it's 110% real, which I've seen some of these things before. I think this goes along the things that he, what he believes in, whatever spirituality it is. Um, but, I mean, he is having a hoot of a some off season. I mean, he, he wins the, he wins the, uh, the pro M at Pebble beach. You know, maybe that's, that's what he goes to after his career. Um, I still think he's like one of the best, if not the best quarterback in the game when, you know, when he's healthy with that, what he did with that Packers team was phenomenal. Um, but I don't think Aaron Rodgers is done. Like, I don't think Tom Brady's done. Um, I think Aaron Rodgers is going to mold the decision. Do I take the money or do I do I? The question that Aaron Rodgers is asking right now is, do I need another Super Bowl to solidify my legacy? And there are quarterbacks who have had one Super Bowl that we consider the greatest quarterback, you know, some of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. But that's a question he has to be asking himself. Do I need another Super Bowl? to secure my legacy or do I is it worth me going out there and playing the game just for the fun of it and I think the relationship that he has with football right now um, is kind of uh, uh, disoriented and I think that's why he's going to be going on this four this four day treat four day retreat to figure out like hey what does football mean to me right now in my career in my life um, so uh, we'll see what happens um, you know if he's traded or not what he does uh, uh he basically said, he said, I'm just sitting in the room in isolation, meditation, dealing with their thoughts. It stimulates DMT, so there also can be some hallucinations in there, but it's just kind of sitting in silence, which most of us never do. We really ever turn our, turn our, turn our phone off or put, our, put the blinds down to sleep in darkness, and we're looking forward to it. So essentially, it's just DMT is like something that you go into when you sleep, and it, it just it's, it makes you, it helps you sleep. Um, so it, you know, the hallucinations come when you're in isolation. So, so you know, for if you're if you've been in isolation, um, you know, it kind of makes you, you know, uh, uh, like just think things, dream things. Um, you know, I'm not sure. If, some people do this; and they take drugs. We all know Aaron Rodgers has taken some uh, some uh, interesting uh, drugs. So he said that uh, he said last summer that he had taken part in a ayakasha ceremony and ayakasha ceremonies that can produce hallucinations similar to the drug um, DMT. He said that darkness retreats does not include use of ayakusha. So it's just simply just him in the room. Um, if anybody knows the ayakusha ceremony, it's a, the, the shamans led the ceremony consumption of ayakusha beverage, beverage in a rite that takes uh, that typically takes place over a uh, uh, over the night, over the entire night, during the ceremony, the the effects of the drink last for hours. Prior to ceremony, participants instructed to abstain from spicy foods, red meat, and sex. So, um, yeah, I mean, I I, I think that, um, yeah, I, I people 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 do certain things to uh, to get things out, whatever it is. Um, some you know they say it's to cleanse cleanse the body, uh, cleanse the spirit of the body. Uh, you know, but whatever he's doing to, you know, and whatever he's going through in life, um, you know, in this period in life, I think that his relationship with football is disoriented, and this is something that he needs to, to figure out.